Hey there gang, Eric Andres with your Guitar Sage, and today we are going to learn how to play Black Water by the Doobie Brothers. You're going to love this. Super cool tune. It's actually not nearly as hard as you think it might be. It's in double drop D. What does that mean? I'm going to show you. It means that your two high, or your two strings, your two E strings, are going to be tuned down to a D. So simply, if it's tuned, let's say your E is tuned up here, then what you'll do is you'll hit your D string and hit your E. where they're the same note, or actually an octave apart. Okay, or if you have a tuner, then do that. Tune this one to a D, and then tune this high E string to a D. Another way you can do that is you can play the third fret, which is a D, and then pick your high E string, and those two should sound the same. If not, come over here and tune it. Okay, so now when you play a D, you won't play it like this. You'll play it with your finger off, and you can play all the strings, and it has that cool sound to it. Okay, that's called double drop D. All right? Okay, and so let's talk about some of the basic chords that are covered here, and I'm gonna go over the rhythm and stuff for you. I'm actually, let me play a little part of it here, and then we're gonna talk about the particulars, okay? So it's gonna go something like this. Okay, and then that's pretty much the entire song. So if you know how to play what I just did right there, you can pretty much play the entire song. Pretty cool, right? Good. Okay, so let me show you, and I'm even going to show you how to solo and that sort of thing in this. If you want to noodle, say, with your friends, have the one buddy playing this, and you can noodle over the top of it, it would be awesome. Okay? All right, so let's talk about this. Now that we're in drop D, or double drop D, this is the first chord that I'm going to show you, and it's a D chord. And basically, this is your normal D chord. You're used to that one, right? In this case, you just lift your third finger up and strum all the notes. Okay, easy enough. That's first chord. The other chord is this, and it's an A minor. <laughs> it's actually got a, uh, it's a, a, an A minor seven, but it also has an 11 in it. So never mind, you don't need to know what it is per se, but here's your A minor. You're gonna lift your third finger up, and you're gonna play it open. That's the 11 that I was talking about, the suspension. So those are the two chords. Take your thumb and mute that low E string for the A chord, the A minor seven suspended. And mute that note, and then strum all the other five strings. Okay, so you get the idea. That's the basic part of the song here. So let's talk about the little licks and what have you. And we'll talk about right hand technique as well. First off, if you don't know these basic chords that I'm talking about here, make sure you get the free ebook that's at yourguitarstage.com. Links below in the description of this video. It'll help a ton with this lesson and with all the other lessons that I teach on here and just for sharpening your guitar skills. That's if you want to become a guitar ninja. If you don't, then don't go there. Okay, so here are the chords. Uh, I showed you those chords. So let's talk about the little noodling notes here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this first 
uh, fret of the A string and you're going to hit it and kind of bend it up a little bit. And then you're going to hit it open and then hit the rest of that chord. So, and so you actually hit it open. So zero, one with a bend, zero, and then the chord. And then you're going to go zero, this is on the low E string. And you hit the third fret of the low E string and bend it up a little bit. And then hit that D. So it's like, sounds like this. So, okay, so that's the basic part in the beginning. We'll talk about some right hand technique. If you're not, if this is, doesn't become um, very fluid for you, this is not an easy thing to just watch me do this, you probably have to develop your uh, rhythm technique a little bit. Um, I've got a great Ninja Stellar mini video series at unstoppableguitarsystem.com. Link is also below in the description of this video. And that'll help a ton with right hand technique and the kinds of stuff that I'm doing here. So check that out, okay? And left hand technique, actually. So, um, but the basic vibe we're doing over with the right hand is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and except we got a swing feel with it. So straight would be foot's tapping the same, that's a straight feel. A swing would be it's like long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. That's a swing feel, okay? And that's what we're putting to this. Best if you keep that swing going in your arm and then try to play the bits and pieces, okay? That'll help a ton. Okay, so then when it goes, Oh, black water, keep on rolling, Mississippi road, uh, Mississippi moon, Mississippi moon, won't you keep on shining? Oh, black water, keep on rolling, Mississippi moon, you keep on shining. So what we're doing here is a G chord and a B flat, okay? So we're playing this G, usually you're used to this guy, but what's happening is since this note is down a whole step, we're actually playing like a G seventh is what we're playing. So this note is down a whole step, but we're playing it yet another half step down. Um, forget about the analysis of the chord. <laughs> um, it's basically a G chord, that's what you need to know. And we've moved this note up a whole step because we dropped the string down a whole step, so now this is a G. Basically it's a G chord, that's, I just analyzed it, it's a G chord. That's all you need to know. Okay? And then we have a B flat bar chord. Okay? Uh, if you need help with any of your bar chords here on YouTube, you could type in your Guitar Sage bar chords, and I have a two-part series that'll help you master bar chords up and down the neck. Also, if you know, um, if you'd like to know more about those bar chords, check out the Caged System here on YouTube. C A G E D, your Guitar Sage. And I've got some great videos regarding those too. Okay, so check that out. All right, um, so we're going back and forth between these chords. Same basic rhythm. Oh, black water, keep on rolling, this city moon, won't you keep on shining on? Now, when I'm playing this chord, what I want you to do is take your thumb and mute that low E string, okay? And you don't want to hit the high note either. That's muted. You just want to hit strings 5, 4, 3, 2. So, oh, black water, keep on rolling, this city moon. 
so that's the second part of the song. Just go back and forth between those two. It's that same rhythm. Okay? Then we have... Okay, so let me show you what this is. This is like a, an A. We're not playing that high E string again. It's muted, okay? You can just fat finger it here. It takes a little getting used to, but you'll get it, okay? I promise. All great guitar playing is, is practice, okay? It has nothing to do with talent. It's because I sucked when I was a little kid until I started practicing. Same with Eddie Van Halen and Jimi Hendrix and all the rest. So it's all about practice, not about what you're born with. It's crock crap, don't believe it. Okay, the next chord, so here's your A, and you could mute that low E string again, okay? And then the next chord, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your first finger on the second fret of the low E string, and you're gonna play that note, mute the A string, and then play the rest of the chord. So, I'm doing here is I'm going so I'm going down up mute and then the next chord so I'm going down up mute and that's on an upbeat practice that like down up mute up okay That's how to get used to this one. And then there's this little lick. And so what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go, it's a hammer from two to four on the low E string. And then a hammer from zero to two on the A string. And then open again. Okay, like that. Okay, so here for that little part, first finger is going to be at the third fret of the second string. Third finger is going to be at the fourth fret of the fourth string. And basically, you've got that chord happening, but you're going to do this little pull off thing. And you pick strings two, three, four, and you pull off to that A chord. Hitting the chord, pull off. Hit it again. Get it? That's not too hard, right? All this will take some practice, okay? Um, but you'll get this, I promise. Okay, and, and, and any of the techniques here that I'm teaching, uh, you need more help, again, Unstoppable Guitar System and YourGuitarStage.com. Check those, all those free lessons out. They're there for you. Might as well use them. Okay, so... And then we're back into that section again, so. Okay, so now, if you wanted to say noodle over the top of this thing with one of your buddies, you could play the D pentatonic or the D blues scale, okay? Normally, oh, you could get this, scale, the scale form, um, at yourguitarstage.com. Get the free ebook there. It's got the scale form in it, except it's in A, so you'll just need to slide it from the fifth fret to the tenth fret. Super easy. You just move that scale up and down. And the form normally looks like this. It's normally like fingers one, four, one, two, three, one, three, one, three, four, one, four, one, four. But because the two strings here are dropped a whole step, we have to compensate for that. 
But let's forget about that for a minute. Let's take just the four inside strings because you could noodle over the top of this with just the four inside strings. And basically what you would do is, um, starting on the fifth string to the second string, it, it would be one, two, three, one, three, one, three, one, four. Okay? And if you use those notes, you could noodle over the top of your buddy going. I just did this with one of my students and he sat there for a half hour just noodling, noodling, noodling because it's so much fun, okay? If you need help with any of that sort of thing, make sure you get the blues ebook at yourguitarstage.com and um, it'll help a ton with your blues playing, which is basically what this is, all right? That is pretty much the song in a nutshell. If you have any questions on this video or any of the other ones that I have, please hit me up at facebook.com slash yourguitarsage. You can ask any question you want there and I'll answer it. Also, twitter.com slash yourguitarsage. I'm open for business to help you there. When I say business, I mean free to help you. Um, that and make sure you go to yourguitarsage.com, unstoppableguitarsystem.com. If you like this video, thumbs up, please. And... Subscribe if you want to get these tasty licks in your YouTube email box. All right? My name is Eric Andreas with Your Guitar Sage. Please spay and neuter your cats and dogs. Question the man. Practice your guitar.